And company to present today is ARCIT. Um, they have teamed up with the Natural Resource Transformation Secretariat. And uh, this is one of my favorite projects. They're all my favorite, but this is one of my favorites because um, it really highlights the fact that tech in BC isn't about uh, Victoria or Vancouver uh, or Kelowna. Uh, this is in all of our sectors, and so uh, as the name might give it away, the Natural Resource Transformation Secretariat, uh, it's about natural resources. So it's, uh, it's really neat to see how these two, uh, these two worlds are coming together. Um, so uh, ARCIT, and, uh, um, ARCIT is a Vancouver-based software provider, and they are on a mission to change how people work and communicate and share through the use of mapping technology. Uh, the company combines field projects um, and collaboration into intuitive map-based software um, that everybody can access and contribute and, uh, and share. So uh, I'd love to invite up uh, Linus Yuen and uh, JP Fournier um, from NRTS, and they will walk through, uh, walk through their project. Hey, I'm JP. And I'm Linus. We partnered to solve an information challenge for the natural resource ministries in BC. So if there's one thing governments tend to do really well, it's accumulate large swaths of information. Uh, unfortunately, one consistent shortcoming we see is making all that information available in a way to, that allows users to find exactly what they're looking for. BC is no different. For a few decades, we've been involved in land use planning processes and have generated tons of information about those. Um, unfortunately, that information is pretty fragmented um, and tough for users to access and find exactly what they're looking for. When we heard about this STIR program, we thought it was an awesome opportunity to see if there was a startup out there to help us address this challenge and help improve resource management in the province. So this is our kit, uh, and we are a project management software for geospatial projects. Um, when we heard about the problems that were being faced by NRTS, we realized that many of our existing features already solve a lot of the problems. We have very powerful searching and filtering capabilities, but also very customizable, so we can store and display many types of data, and we can have all this textual and mapping data uh, all stored, managed, and displayed in a single place. So over the course of three months, we created an account for NRTS. We uploaded around 1,000 data points, and we also did some extra work to pull in real-time mapping data directly from BC's data warehouse. So when a user enters our system, this is what they'll see. Uh, this is a overview map uh, with uh, certain mapping features. The purple markers represent each of the data points. And the color regions you see there are just the different BC, uh, BC regions. That particular visual data is being pulled from the BC data warehouse. So let's say that I am a resident of Vancouver Island and I want to search for land restriction uh, information around my area. So I bring in my search box, simply type in Vancouver Island, and now I only see the matching data points. I can zoom in and out of the map, kind of pan around just to survey around the area. I can also click on one of these uh, purple markers and that'll get me the full details of the data point. So you can see on the left there are all the textual information to help me make my decisions. On the right is more mapping information. Uh, you can see the red regions there are really just more visual data pulled from the BC data warehouse. And furthermore, if I click on one of these red regions, I'll get, I'll get a nice little dialog box giving me more final details of that region. So before we started this project, if I was that same Vancouver Island resident looking for land use planning information, I would have had to go to three separate websites, um, look through PDF documents hundreds of pages long, and cross-reference those with mapping information. Now with ARCIT, all of that information is amalgamated in one place, tied to the most up-to-date information beaming straight from BC's data warehouse, um, and I've got access to powerful search and filter and point and click kind of mapping capability to allow me to find exactly what I'm looking for. From a resource management standpoint, access to this kind of information is foundational to allow us to properly manage our resources. Um, so we're very pleased to have worked with ARCIT on this. 
So yeah, even for RK, this has been a great opportunity. Uh, we've learned a lot about working with the government and government systems. We also learned a lot about the procurement process and the challenges faced for both the public and private sectors. On the government side, we've learned a ton as well. Uh, some of the key things we've learned from partnering with ARCIT, um, really the, the first is user-centric design. So their approach there has really been helpful and has already trickled more broadly in the organization. Uh, the second thing is that same user-centric design actually helped us redefine our problem statement from what we thought it was, uh, which we assumed it was a mapping problem and that was it, to what we realized was actually a problem that would involve mapping, searching, filtering, and other capabilities to allow users to find what they need. The third is uh, ARCIT works in an iterative, agile approach. That has been another huge learning that is already trickling more broadly in the organization. So it's been huge. Uh, we're still in the trial period and look forward to continuing to partner with ARCIT during that time and with the aim of uh, using their product more broadly to support resource management in the province. Right. Uh, so thank you for our time. And again, we'll be doing live demos over there, uh, one of the tables closer to the entrance. So thank you. Thanks, Linus. Thanks, JP. Uh, it's really neat to see how far this has come from the first day. Uh, I think yours was the first inception day meeting that we had, uh, holed up in an office down the way. And uh, it was really fun. It was fun and super informative. So it's amazing to see how much it has progressed since then and see how important that one-on-one -on -one conversation really is to kind of kick off where you need to go. So thank you so much for participating.